Hi everybody. Well, I'm about to go on an Alaska cruise. And last time I tried to do this on this ship, I tried to surprise my friend, cruise director Natalie. A uh, longtime friend in the cruising world on Princess. She's currently on the Royal Princess right now. And, um, yeah, last time it didn't go so well. Uh, let me explain. He's getting... So, last time I headed down to surprise my friend Natalie when I heard she finally got back to work. She was finally recalled by Princess after the shutdown and she went on the Royal Princess. And I said, okay. So I, I booked a cruise before two other cruises. I wasn't planning this cruise at all, but I booked it before I, I, I had two other cruises booked. And here was my plan. Everybody was still wearing masks and all this was going on. And I had this idea that I was going to surprise her in the Yes No Game Show. And so the way that works is, you know, you put your name in and then they call people up and you go up and you you participate in the yes no game show where you can't say yes or no for three minutes uh, during a conversation. Well, I figured because of the mask wearing and everything, she might not recognize me. So when I got on board, I kind of hid from Natalie and it was supposed to have the yes no game show on day two. So it wouldn't have been that bad. Get on the ship. Uh, see the comedy club that night, and then the next day, the Yes No Game show's there, and I can surprise her. Well, uh, because of the scheduling, they ended up moving the Yes No Game show to the fifth night of the cruise. So I had to hide for five days. Now, I did not go out of my way to hide. I still sat in the front row, uh, where I normally sit for my theater shows and everything, and Natalie would come out, and she would do her end of the show spe speech and everything, and I was sitting right there in the front row, sometimes in my bright white suit. <laughs> and she still it didn't, but she wasn't expecting me, right? She wasn't expecting me to be there at all. I had told her I was going to try and get down in January, and we were in November. So I, I managed to hide. And then I made the arrangements with some of the other entertainment staff where uh, I was going to give a fake name and they would call me up somewhere in the middle and I would go up and I would take my mask off and we will have this on Princess Live. Like it will be recorded. It would all be there because Princess records the game shows and puts them up on the television in your rooms and you can get to watch it and all this. And that was a good plan. Uh, almost. <laughs> so after five days, I managed to hide from her all that amount of time. And then I went and I was in the Yes No Game show. I looked around. Natalie was nowhere around. I saw the people I was talking to, uh, making the arrangements for the, the to get a fake name and everything. And I walked up to give them the fake name. And as I'm giving him the fake name, six feet away from me through a curtain, out walks Natalie, stops dead in her tracks and goes, like mask was on and everything. She, she recognized me immediately. Now, some people say, well, why didn't she recognize you in the theater? Well, don't forget, they have bright lights on them facing them when you're on stage. So you don't see very far into the audience at all. You may think you do, but you don't. Um, it's very blinding when you're up there. So she, people who are up there look like they're talking to you. They're not really talking to you half the time. That's why entertainers will say, bring up the house lights, because that's the only way they can see you. Um, so yeah, my I did play the Yes No Game Show against her, though. Uh, but it was not a surprise. It was a backfire, 100%. And... Um, by the way, that was the only yes, no game show I've ever won <laughs> was that one. And I think she took, she was still in a little shock that I was there, um, on the cruise, but yeah, uh, it didn't work. So now I'm heading down 
on the royal princess again. And I said, well, I can't really do the same thing. Because last time I, I mentioned to people, I am, because I, I always tell people where I'm going. I always tell people what ship I'm, I'm going to be on. So I'm going on the royal princess. And I, I said, you know what? I'm going to be on the royal princess on the 27th of August. And she's great. Can't wait to see you. She's all happy and everything. And, I, and I'm going, I did not lie. I am on the cruise August 27th. But I'm also on the cruise August 20th, the week before. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that maybe, just maybe, I can get away with surprising her this time. So please do me a favor. If you're on the Royal Princess, August 20th, with myself and Natalie, please don't tell her I'm on the cruise yet. Because that's what happened last time. Dozens of people went up and said, hey, Dawn's on the cruise. Have you seen Dawn yet? Because they, they used to see her in my opening little montage video there at the beginning. Uh, till this year's. I don't think she's in this year's. I'll have to get her back again next year. Um, but, uh, yeah, please. Mum's the word. Shh. Because I'm trying to surprise her again, but it's harder and harder to surprise people on a cruise when you announce on YouTube in front of a hundred and some thousand people where you are and what you're doing. <laughs> so, shh, shh. Mum's the word. Mum's the word. 